Hey guys, I'm Nate Sexton. I'm gonna take you on a tour of the Nate Sexton Signature Series Octothorpe or Sextothorpe if you prefer. I'm gonna start out with this awesome rain fly. That's one of my favorite parts about the bag. Uh, obviously in this awesome turquoise color, little Nate logo here. The really cool thing about it is that this top flap comes all the way up and you ha still have access to your side pockets where a lot of rain flies aren't gonna give you that access to all your storage. This one does. And then for extra cool points, it's got a magnetic closure. I don't know if you heard that little snap, but yep. magnetic closure there. So that's actually really cool. And then this one has two magnets into the main pocket where you could get at your discs and snap back and it stays right where it goes. So really cool rain fly that I really like. One of the kind of the most innovative things I think about this bag. Yeah. One thing I like about the rain fly, Nate, is it goes all the way under the bag and up the yeah, back Yeah, for too. sure. And this is like, I think this is called Hypalon. It's like a, almost a rubbery material. Mm -hmm. This is like super, super tough, just like the bottom of a bag would be. So these rain flies aren't gonna like get worn out on you or get really uh, thin down there or anything. And the part, the part that's hitting the ground and hitting all the sharp little sticks is appropriately tough. So we'll get that away. I only bring this with me in a chance of rain. It's not the, it's not bulky, but it does take up some space in the bag about as much as a jacket. So I'll only bring it in a, in a round where there might be a chance of rain. But once there is rain, it's really fantastic to have over your discs. As far as the bag itself, gray on gray on gray on gray. Everything about it's gray. Back, all the webbing. Uh, it's got chrome zippers, a little Nate right there, a little uh, new pound logo right there. So. Turquoise and gray is basically the theme colors of it. it turned out really great. Um, I'll get you into my discs, I guess. So my mini, wedding mini, helps me make putts. Um, my actual putters, I use a Discmania P2 and have for years for 90% of my putts, almost everything inside 50 feet. Really good, consistent putter, a little bit of, little stiff, a little bit overstable. It's in D-line, I can't remember if I already said that. But then. And DX AVR for my longer putts, 170 gram. This one is actually signed by Dan Stork Roddick, PDJ number three. So that gives me extra luck, I think. But this is a little bit floatier, a little bit less overstable, so I can get uh, longer putts, spin putts, short little approaches, get it to hang in the air a little bit longer. A disc that I throw that a lot of people don't throw is the R-Pro Dart. Uh, this is my older one. I use this for lots of little upshots, standstill drives, little forehands, backhands, anything really under about 250. I'm comfortable using these. And then the new uh, Sexton stamp from Supreme Flight. Uh, this is a little bit newer one. Use this when I need a little bit more overstable. Both are pro darts, max weight. For mid ranges, I mean, I, I throw the dart like a mid range, but I'm not a guy who carries a whole ton of mid ranges. I have a, right now I have a KC Pro Rock, an 11 time. This is like my straighter rock. I have a Champion Rock 3 that my brother gave me that he aced with at the McBeast Challenge. That's my overstable rock. I just got it last week because I threw the rock I thought was my overstable rock and it went off a cliff. So then he just said, I never throw this one, hand it right over. So that went straight in the bag. And then for kind of utility, super overstable, I have the Heiserbaum Mortar in the Frontline X plastic. So it's kind of gummy, kind of like a beadless gator. I don't use it often, but it's bailed me out of a couple of jams with like a ante forehand or a really overstable mid-range backhand type shot, heavy wind. I'll even putt with it in really heavy wind, like 25 footer into a 20 mile an hour wind. That's probably my putter of choice. As far as fairway drivers, I've got a few here. Um, one of my favorites is the Star T-Bird. I just carry one of these. I use it for straight backhands, backhand cut rollers and forehand rollers. I uh, end up using that disc a couple times around usually.
S-Line PD. I use this mostly exclusively for backhands actually. Um, just for kind of 400 and in, 300 to 400, hyzer shots, a little bit of flex, things like that, where I need a little bit of overstability. Star Leopard 3, I use for backhands that need to flip, rollers, uh, never really for forehands unless it was kind of a weird situation. And then Champion Thunderbird uh, is just sitting in my bag. I haven't been throwing it, uh, but I want to throw it more. I really like how it flies, but it kind of overlaps with the PD. I'm still kind of sussing out the difference between them. The PD is a little bit more dump at the end. The Thunderbird's a little bit more glide. I'm trying to kind of figure out when I should throw one and when I should throw the other. I really like the grip on it, and I like throwing those Paul signature discs. Uh, then on to my Firebirds. You can probably guess what kind I use. Sexton Firebirds, uh, 2016 is my most overstable. Mainly use this for backhands and then forehand flex shots. A little bit overstable for like my everyday forehand use. Maybe in heavy winds I would use it. Uh, then I have two 2015s. This one's a little bit older. This one's a little bit newer. They fly pretty similar. I just don't want to ever be in a situation where I don't have one of these if I were to throw one in the water or something. So I use them sort of interchangeably, this one being slightly flippier, so I use this at less power, and if I have to th get on it a little bit more, I throw this newer one. Really good discs, though. You should check them out. Then I have, uh, getting into distance drivers a little bit, a Sidewinder, Star Sidewinder. Use this pretty much for rollers. Every once in a while, a huge Anheuser. Yesterday, I even used it for a little forehand flip type of shot, but kind of get out of trouble shots. And, if it's not a roller, it's probably a get-out-of-trouble shot. Then I've got Champion Orc. I use this guy for forehands exclusively. Uh, one of my favorites. Straight flyer, good through the woods. And then distance drivers. Four destroyers. The Griffin Stamp is one of my more overstable ones. 150 gram Griffin. Uh, they were really... The Griffin's an old-school DX disc. It didn't go that far in DX plastic, but once they put it in this swirly star, it flies exactly like a destroyer. This is, uh, this is my next, or this one's also one of my more overstable ones, uh, Paul Macbeth, just a new one, new destroyer. I have these two, the dot on this one means it's the flippy one. These two are just kind of two destroyers that I use for max distance, a um, couple years old, but just nice good feeling ones that I can throw a long way. Then I have a little Simon Lazat PD2 for super headwind shots, things like that. Really overstable. And then one EcoStar XCal for distance forehands. Sometimes I carry two, depending on the course. Uh, but this week I just have the one. So this is like my long forehand disc. And that's it for all my discs. Uh, as far as side pockets, we've got one little one here that can fit like a second drink. I don't think I even have anything in it right now, but it can also fit like a small jacket. Mm -hmm. This is just a regular drink holder. Both of them fit 40 ounce hydro flasks. Yeah, 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 so they can stretch. They can fit quite a bit. The inside is this nice turquoise, bright color. Uh, keep like cell phone, pens, Sharpies, pencils, things like that in here. Uh, extra towels, whatever. Then you've got a similar pocket. Again, also there's these little ones too. These I keep like chapsticks, um, things like that. Keys, whatever, little things that you don't want to have to dig for in the bottom of a big pocket. <clears throat> On this side, we've got another cool feature is the umbrella sleeve. I don't have an umbrella right now, but the umbrella gets held down in here actually really tightly, goes all the way to the bottom of the bag, and then you zip up around it. And it's probably the best umbrella storage solution I've ever seen on a disc golf bag because it really holds it tight and it's really easy to get in and out. So really nice. You don't have to fumble with any straps or anything. This pocket, another big storage pocket. I've got a jacket in there. It's a little overcast today. <coughs> also a little sandpaper block. 
that I use to sand uh, when my bird, when my uh, discs hit pavement and stuff. I have some toenail clippers and this to kind of clip them and sand them down so they feel nice again because I don't like catching that little burr on the bottom of the disc when I'm right about to throw. So I always fix them if they take a battle damage. You can fit like four or five discs in that pocket too. You I can. Think. I fit six here on my way to Czech Republic on the plane. Wow. So six drivers could go in here, maybe five if you have a putter mid-range in there. But a good option, you know, I don't carry that many discs on the course, but if you're going to travel with your discs, you can throw a couple extras in there and have them be relatively safe over there. I think that that is about it for the bag. I mean, four putters up top, as you saw, kind of a unique thing there. Mini pocket in the front. This is for a chair. I don't carry a chair, but that's a chair thing. But yeah, favorite bag I've ever had. I want to thank Central Coast, say thanks to my sponsors and fans, and uh, if you thought this was an accident, it wasn't. <laughs> thank you so much for your time, Nate. <clears throat>